to be doing a rainbow bookshelf tour. I never thought ever that I would have a rainbow bookcase, but I do. I just decided one day that I was gonna change it and I thought, well, how can I do this? It's slightly different, because usually I, I just stack my books up and then have a few at the side. I just decided to go all out and rainbowify my shelves and I think it looks pretty good. I am quite impressed with it, so I thought I would share it with you today. This is also a celebration of me reaching 5,000 subscribers on my channel, which is something that I never thought would happen. 5,000 people! kind of insane so thank you so much if you have subscribed to me and for watching my videos. This bookcase is my main bookcase but does not feature my favourite books, they are all separate. So there will be another bookshelf tour in a few weeks where I show you all the other places that I keep my books, I thought I'd split it into parts. But I really wanted to share my rainbow bookshelves with you today. So I'm going to start at the top of my bookcase, this is the flat surface at the top and we have my fibre optic cactus which you may have seen in my previous bookshelf tour. I love it. A lot of people don't but I think it's really cool. It's my favourite thing. Then we have my Harry Potter collection. I have a really mishmash of the books. They are all different editions, they don't match at all but I love it that way. I think it looks quite cool. Just like my cactus and I really like them here in a big pile. They're just the centre of my bookcase and I really like it. This is also the place where I keep all of my graphic novels and books that have illustrations in them. The first one is The Sleeper and the Spindle by Neil Gaiman, which I really enjoyed. I've talked about it a few times on my channel. Then we have The Great Salt Lake by Matt Taylor. I didn't really enjoy this, but it was pretty good, and you can buy this from Gosh Comics. Threaded Wind and Rain by Isabel Greenberg, which I haven't read yet, but I really love Isabel Greenberg's work. The River of Lost Souls by Isabel Greenberg, another one which I haven't read yet. Mogs at Christmas Calamity by Judith Kerr, which was released at Christmas and is a children's book. I read all of the Mog books when I was younger and really, really loved them. The Snow Queen and Other Stories by Isabel Greenberg and I really, really loved this one. It was a really nice story. I would highly recommend her graphic novels if you haven't read any of them. Lumberjanes by Noelle Stevenson. I don't know the other authors but I'll leave them below. I really like this one. This is the first book in the series and I need to read the next one soon because I actually enjoyed this one quite a lot. It wasn't my favourite, but it was still pretty good. Another Isabel Greenberg, we have Right Customs and Histories of the Great Empire of Migdal Babel, and this was featured in her the Encyclopedia of Early Earth, which I'm currently reading. Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, which was one of my favourite books of 2015. A book that I freaking adore. It's so, so cool. Cherry Pie by Holly Poetry, which was recommended by Anna. Um, you can watch her video where she talks about it. Really, really loved this book. I'm loving poetry at the moment and this was a great modern look at poetry because often when you think about poetry you can think about old things. This was really current. And then a novella, The Boy in the Smoke by Maureen Johnson, which is a book in her Shades of London series. This was released for World Book Day 2014 so you can't get it now I don't think but it's still really good. If you do get a chance to read it, you should, because I loved it. And then we have this pile of books. At the top is The Elites by Natasha Nyan. I loved this when I read it a few years ago. Seven Days by Eve Ainsworth, which tells the story of a girl who's being bullied and the person who's bullying her. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I think everybody loves this book. Night School Fracture by CJ Doherty. This was just one that didn't fit onto my main shelf. So it's, I think it's the third book in the series, but I couldn't find a place for it, so I had to put it in here. Mystery Falls by Josh Sterling, another sequel I couldn't fit on. The Rain by Virginia Bergen. I love this, it's about killer rain. If you touch it, it will kill you. Ah, I loved it. The Other Countess by Eve Edwards, one of my favourite historical books. Adorkable by Sarah Manning. I read this every single year without fail and it always makes me love my blog. And then Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I don't love this as much now as I did the first time that I read it, but it, I still wanted to keep it. It's a signed copy, so I can't get rid of it really. Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I read this in the summer. It was so cute and just how I love my contemporaries. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. I absolutely adore this series and this is the first book. And then Did I Mention I Love You and Did I Mention I Need You by Estelle Mascam. And now onto the main section of my shelf. It's fitted into four pods as I like to call them. The first book is Stealing Phoenix by Joss 
Sterling the second book in the Savant series. I adore this series. The hardback of Marisi by Maria Tatshanov, which is a Finnish translated book that was published by Pushkin Press, and I'm quoted in it, and I love it. It was an amazing book that I read last year. Geek Girl by Holly Smale. This is a really special book to me because it was the first proof copy I ever got, so I will never ever get rid of it. Lament by Maggie Sievot, which I really want to read soon, and is a really underrated series by her. I'm not sure when the last book is gonna come out. I don't know if it's already out. I've read the first two books, and I'll show you the second one in a minute, but the third one, no sign of it. Half Bad by Sally Green, the first book in the Half Bad trilogy. I received the third book the other day and I can't wait to finish it because the books are so, so good. Night School by CJ Doherty. I also adore this series and you saw Night School Factor a minute ago. This is the first book in the series. Code Red Lipstick, Jessica Cole Model Spy by Sarah Skye. If you like Ali Carter, you will love these because I definitely did. They're really super quick to read as well. The Queen's Lady by Eve Edwards, the second book. You saw The Other Countess a minute ago as well. How Hard Can Love Be by Holly Bourne. Ah, I love Holly Bourne's books so much. I just love her books and this was amazing. It kept me up all night. New Angle. Then we have To All The Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I really like this duology and the second book is coming up in a minute. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Also really adored this book. Mind Your Head by Juno Dawson and it's illustrated by Gemma Corral and with Dr. Olivia Hewitt. So it's a really good book about mental health. Night School Resistance, another book in the Night School series. And now onto the next pod, we have my favorite book of all time, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And then Attachments by Rainbow Rowell, which is a close favorite. Ignite Me by Tahara Murphy, which I adore this series. It is so good and so thrilling and a brilliant dystopia. The second Jessica Cole Model spy book, which is called Fashion Assassin. Then the sequel to Under the Never Sky, Through the Ever Night. P.S. I Still Love You, which is the sequel to, to, to All the Boys I've Loved Before. Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater. Love Maggie Stiefvater's books. I think this was possibly one of my favorites in the Raven Boys series. Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi, the third book in this series. Rogue's Princess by Eve Ed Edwards, which actually features Shakespeare. Nice surprise. Night School Legacy by CJ Doherty, which is the second book in the Night School series. And then Ballad by Maggie Stewarter. I need the sequel to these two books. They're so good. I just need them. And then Soulmates by Holly Bourne, which is about what happens if you meet your true love, but things start going wrong because you're not supposed to meet them. And I was just hooked from the start of it. On to the bottom now, and we have The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stewart, which is the second book in the Ray from Boys series. I don't actually own a copy of the Raven Boys, um, but I really adore these covers. Uh, they're so pretty. And then my Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. They just all look amazing. Angel Dares by Joss Sterling, which is another book in the Savant series. My Shiver, Linger and Forever, which are the Wolves of Mercy Falls series. And I love these books. They were such important books for me that really shaped the way I was thinking as I was growing up and werewolves. We're moving on to the dark books now and we have Rockaholic and Dead Romantic by CJ Skew. Rockaholic is about kidnapping a rock star and Dead Romantic is about bringing your perfect boyfriend to life and making him out of dead body parts. Two hilarious books that I love. Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne which is about a girl who has OCD and anxiety and I really really loved it. Trouble by Non Pratt. It's about teenage pregnancy. It has sperm on the cover. That's all I need to say about it. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. We were talking about this in a chat the other day that I did on Twitter, and I never realised how problematic it was. So I think I'm going to have to reread that soon. Seeking Crystal by Joss Sterling and Finding Sky by Joss Sterling. Finding Sky is the first book in the Savant series, and Seeking Crystal is the third or fourth, I think. Then we have The Madness Underneath and The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. I adore the Shades of London series. And The Name of the Star is the first book, The Madness Underneath is the second. I have the third book, but I need to read it soon. I'm desperate to read it. And then Glimpse by Kendra Leeton, which is based on the High Man poem by Alfred Noyes. My favourite poem, pretty much. I loved it when I read it. It had such an impact on me. I read it when I was about nine or ten, I think, and I loved it. And then in the corner we have Shatter Me and Unravel Me by Tahara Murphy. And finally, 
The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson and Deep Water by Lou Hersey and I love both of these books so much. And then Deep Water is a look at the Selkie myth which is people who can become seals and it was quite a thrilling book so I really loved that. So that was my Rainbow Bookshelf Tour. Stay tuned on my channel for the next instalment in my Bookshelf Tour series. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Happy reading!